Hey what is going guys, I'm Dale from Dragon Control and today we're gonna to check out FlyMe 6 ROM for the Loiku L2. So if you don't know about FlyMe ROMs, FlyMe is Meizu's proprietary user interface and now it has been ported for the Loiku L2 and that's what we're gonna check out now. So the link for the ROM will be in the description below and the ROM does not come with Google Apps built in so you have to sideload that. If you don't know how to install a custom ROM you could check out one of my previous videos because most of them are regarding that. And yeah, now moving on to the ROM, in terms of bugs and stability, the ROM is stable for the most part considering that this is an initial build, but there are a couple of bugs. To begin with, VOLT does not work, so you cannot use VOLT. And in camera application, while shooting at 16 megapixels, at 4 is to 3 aspect ratio, the viewfinder looks odd because it actually upscales the feed from the camera to 16 is to 9 aspect ratio but the photos taken are normal only the viewfinder looks weird but when you take the photos the actual photos look just normal now talking about the camera the rom has support for 4k video recording and photos at 16 megapixels as well so yeah it's perfect well, and while taking photos, when you click on the preview image, uh, the gallery app crashes and the photo is not open, but you can individually open the gallery application out of the camera application. It's just when you launch the gallery application from the shortcut within the camera application, the gallery application crashes. But apart from that, everything else works just fine. There is even support for infrared sensors, so yeah. Everything else works just fine. This is the only bug which I faced with the ROM. Initially, I did have a couple of random reboots, but after using it for a couple of hours, I didn't face any random reboots. So, yeah, I won't say that this ROM is stable, but for an initial build, it's okay. And if you really want to use Flyme OS or if you want to use an iOS ripoff, you could use this ROM. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you like this video as usual, go down and hit the like button and for more videos hit the subscribe button and do let your thoughts in the comment section below about this ROM and I'll see you guys later. See ya.